they see me coming out the back door here. You gonna let me in? Huh? Well, at least you kind of sort of got out of my way that time. Okay, let me go get your treat. Come on. Girls, let me in. Hey, 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 hey. Let me in here. What, babies? <laughs> what are you girls doing out in the rain? See, they don't care. It's just a light rain if it's raining harder. So I got some more uh, chicken poop straw laid down. Um, Cause this stuff here, I mean, it's just almost taking over this yard. So I'm gonna try to choke some of that out with regular grass seed and stuff that I've got down and through there. Now that it's raining, perfect time. So, and in a couple weeks, you won't even th see those straw. So, and I've got some seed planted here. So wherever you see the straw, that's where I've got seed planted and they've been fluffing it up. <laughs> and then, I gotta get rid of this pile here. My grass is still coming up pretty good over here, as you see. Once it's getting there. I might have to throw some more seed down around the edges and stuff, but maybe I can use a little bit of this straw over there because they then kick some of it out. And then this has been staying dry. I've been leaving the door shut so no one goes in here. And this has been pretty dry so far. It's not like flooding rains. Um, so I think I may separate some of my birds today. We'll have to see. There's a little bit in there, green in there for them to eat. I did, like I said, I planted some seed, but uh, I don't know. I may just wait till some of that starts coming up. I don't know. Just depends. I've got somebody coming over to pick up a couple of the teenager birds. They want a welsimer and an opsilorp, so she's supposed to call me sometime today. Come get those. And I just got everything done. Pooper scooping. So I just got done pooper scooping in here and throwing some more straw down. And since they had a big old pile of my excess straw, I just grabbed piles where and threw on top of wherever I pulled the straw from underneath there. So I'm just trying to slowly like reuse some of this without it getting too thin on the floor. Instead of opening up another um, bag just for under there. And then I got their kennel cleaned out. I raked all the straw out of there. You can't get every little piece. But with it raining, you know, that straw just, it gets nasty, you know, and it gets wet. So it's still pretty dry all in there, except for just a, that's not even wet yet over there. But I did put the um, plastic down across there yesterday, because I knew it was going to rain st starting last night. So I need to get the welsomers and opsilorps out of here. <laughs> and then everybody else just panning out. See, that's one reason why, like, I leave that open. But I put that there so it stays all dry because that's their favorite place to hang out is on those perches. And I did get my sand delivered. I just have to get it down here. So I just didn't feel like carrying 50 pounds of sand right now. So I'm going to see what I can do to get that down here. Get the wagon up there and get it down here, huh, Wilbur? Edward! <laughs> Where's Thomas? Oh, he's up there. Poor guy. All by himself. They don't like him. What, Wilbur? Oh, I know, baby. No, y'all have done had your treats. And had your treats, so... I guess what I'm going to do is figure out how, to, how I can get that sand down here. Okay. <laughs> Temporary delay in getting things done. The rain coming down now. So, but it's good because I got seed down and straw down, so that's going to help that. And then I got my 100 pounds. I thought it was 50, but it's 100 pounds, 50 bags each of sand. I got it on this, but now it's raining. So I might have to wait till tomorrow morning or this afternoon. Hopefully it doesn't rain all day long, but we needed the rain. <laughs> Okay, I got the sand down here. I finally got it on that. Well, thing got it down here, so I got a little bit in that one, and 
they'll get in there they'll eat some of it first usually and then they'll get in there and mix it all up i'll get a rake and uh, try to mix it up a little bit more and then i'm going to fix this one uh, for these these girls <laughs> yep going in there go ahead eat it <laughs> a lot of people say use this sand don't use that sand use this sand don't use that sand but i just get what i can afford and uh i've been using this kind of sand on and off sometimes i'll get a different kind um <laughs> But I've not had no problems with this um, play sand in the last few years. Okay, so let me get the other ones going. Okay, I got half a bag of sand in there, and I swiped some of the <laughs> some of the dirt out of the other sand boxes. So it'll take them a minute to figure it out. I know it's not big enough for all of them, but and I was going to get my Welsomers and Opsilorps out of here and put them in the other kennel out in the chicken yard, but because of the rain and stuff, I don't want, you know, it's like to hold off. Maybe till tomorrow. And we'll give them some time to get used to it. Okay. Now that people are starting to call for uh, my pullets, I need to separate some. So I just went ahead and stuck some straw in here. Number one, it's going to be easier to clean the poo-poo out instead of it smashing down in the ground and just not being able to get it out. Which, I'm, yeah, I mean, some of it's still going to go down there, but I still think I can keep it cleaner by, you know, just raking out poo-poo straw. <laughs> oh, you girls can't get in there. So, I got an extra perch in there. And, yes, it's angled, but I did not want to ruin that piece of perch and cut it down to fit in here because then it won't fit somewhere else because I'm reusing all these perches everywhere. So, that should be plenty room for just five of them, pull it. And that'll leave just my Easter eggers in the um, chicken run kennel. So that when somebody wants to get an Easter egg, they can just go in there and pick whatever one they want and not worry about grabbing a Welsomer or something else. You can definitely tell the Opsilorps from the other birds. But the Welsomers and some of the Easter eggers look almost identical, except for the uh, Easter eggers, of course, have the gray legs. What are you doing? <laughs> They've been out here helping me. So, we'll get this back in the, um, I just pulled out, get this put back in the, uh, coop. And, uh, go catch my, uh, Welsomers and Opsilorp. Okay, I have my Welsomers and Opsilorps out of here. So, the only thing left in here are the Easter Eggers. So, that way, if somebody wants to buy one or something, they can just pick the ones they want and not worry about, you know, a, a similar looking breed. Okay, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What is everybody doing in there? It is far from bedtime. <laughs> okay, we've got the others laying out here. I was wondering where they all went. I already had a heart attack. Wilbur, where's all the rest of them? <laughs> so I did rehome one Easter Egger. And one Welsomer, two Welsomers. So. <laughs> okay, so down to one Welsomer and two Opslurps. Sorry, babies. <laughs> if somebody comes and buys one more Welsomer, if I can't rehome the Australorps, I'll end up putting those back in with the Easter Eggers because, of course, you could tell those apart. I hear you. 
and then for some reason, they like my space. Y'all, you know you're in my space, don't you? <laughs> don't knock that stuff over. <laughs> I guess, wherever they're comfortable at. And they're starting to play around a little bit in the sandbox in there.